actually did manage to hold on to it, had the crowd in awe. And they were celebrating at one stage. And then he tried to, to pass it and ran into a bit more trouble. I can't see how he's been the one who supposedly fell then. We're coming out for the second half with a top half of the rabbit. Well, this was uh, toying with De Bruyne. Sanchez just a cab escapes. Wicks. This is seat off the pack stuff for Spurs. We can do it half time. Pochettino today, he would be an alternative for the third chance to get in the second half. It's now half time, Manchester City, so greedy for the ball, so greedy for greatness. A head courtesy of one of their modern greats, Raheem Sterling after 20 minutes, but only three minutes later, out of the blue, Eric Lamella did equalise for Spurs, but City were utterly dominant, and it was no surprise when from close range, Kun Aguero got his first Etihad goal of a new campaign, and at the break, the Champions League top them by two goals to one. De Bruyne provided and Aguero executed as so often before. And we reach half time in sunny Manchester with City leading by two goals to one. It's a wonderful first 45 minutes between the two teams who finished in the top four of the Premier League last year. But look at that top stat. Man City, 13 attempts to Spurs, one, five of which were on target. In terms of the uh, passes, actually Tottenham have closed the first half. It was round right about two to one, 200 to 100. Now it's about 309 to 297. Very, very close indeed. Just the one yellow, and that was shown to Raheem Sterling. 